watching Morning at NTV. Good morning and welcome back to Morning at NTV. My name is Idris Matusegawa and if you have just joined us, ah, today is a crazy day. There is a lot of jam. It is raining, and if you haven't left home, please lift that blanket and head to work or make a phone call so that your boss doesn't fire you. And talking about jobs, do you have a job? Did you lose your job during the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, I have someone in studio who is going to help you and probably get you that job. I have Bran Ntabirechi. Did, did I pronounce that right? Yeah, you did. Uh, not too bad. <laughs> well, Brian Tabirechi is uh, CEO of Brighter Monday. Now, Brighter Monday, just to tell you a little bit about Brighter Monday. Brighter Monday was established in 2014 and has grown to become Uganda's leading recruitment and HR services platform. It has over 182,000 plus candidates and has worked over 8 thousand employers who successfully use the platform to get access to the right candidates. Bran. Yes. How amazing is this? Morning Idris. Good Pleasure morning. to be here. It's fantastic. Mm. Um, uh, we're really striving to uh, revolutionize the way people do things, the way yeah. people look for jobs, uh, the way companies um, source out talent, and we're looking to use uh, technology to help um, make that process more efficient, right? So generally recruitment is a very backdoor thing you know people want to do it from i don't know from behind the door and they want to, to sort of hide so we, we've we've created and run these platforms not only in uganda but across africa to to um, ensure that there's more transparency mm -hmm. and more efficiency right so yeah. you're able to say for example apply for a job know what steps have been taken get some feedback know how well suited you are for the job and things like that, right? And that's the, the marvel of technology. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is amazing. What inspired you? Um, so I joined, I joined Brighter Monday in 2015. Mm -hmm. I used to be the head of marketing before. Um, and for me, it was more around impact, right? Doing things that are impactful, being in a situation where you're able to touch uh, numerous people's lives, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that comes with transformation. So uh, a job is, is a very big step in, in somebody being able to transform their lives or transform yes, themselves. Because right? it, it brings income yeah. in and then the income leads to other things. So it sort of inspires me that you're able to change and, and affect people's uh, lives in, in a positive manner. Mm -hmm. yeah. How does it work? So it, it, we have a website, www.brightermonday.co.ug. I'll start with the job seekers first, mm -hmm. uh, where you, can, you go and fill out your information around personal information, um, education, background, research papers, whatever it is, and this creates for you a digital CV, right? Mm -hmm. And after that, what happens is that employers or people looking to hire come and post jobs on the platform as well. And if you're suited for a particular job, say I've done accounting, right? Um, I would uh, apply for a job in accounting, and uh, the back end, the platform does ma it matches using artificial intelligence and mm -hmm. tells you and tells the employer actually mostly yeah. how suited you are for the job, right? So it could say something along the lines of, Idris is 85% suited for this job because he lives in the right location, he has the right skills, um, he's built the right sort of profile, right? Yeah. Th that's on one side. On the employer side, it's uh, you have a a very well put together applicant tracking system. So essentially you come and then you post your job onto the website, right? And it gives you back-end access to continuously track this process, right? So when Idris applies, I get a notification. And over time, I get a number of applicants, right? And then it will tell me who's best suited based on particular parameters that I put together for that so job. So as a job seeker, yeah. do I have to pay no. or do I have to create a profile? No, on job right seekers, on Monday? no, you just create a profile. We don't charge job seekers, right? Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, uh, it's the companies really looking to fill talent. They're yeah. the ones who have more money to spend, yeah. <laughs> to spend on, on, on finding talent. So yes. no, we do not charge job seekers. Mm. We, we charge the employers. So how do I keep... You, you've said that uh, the employer mm. uh, posts a job. Right. So how do I keep in touch or how do, do I keep tabs of what job is available ah, that's for me? That's a fantastic question. So um, when, you, when you set up your profile, say for an accountant, the platform gives you an option to sign up for job alerts. Mm -hmm. Now, the job alerts you sign up for are particular to your field, right? That means every so often you'll get an email direct to your inbox saying, 
these jobs are there for um, your preference of being an accountant, first of all. Secondly, we send out uh, weekly emails every week on Monday, right yeah. on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Um, we send them out every week to just say these are sort of the opportunities that yeah. are out there. Um, you know, check them out and see if, if you're willing to apply. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's how we keep um, um, the job seekers involved and, and knowing what opportunities are out there for mm -hmm. them to apply for. So you've been in the game for quite a while. Yeah. Have you noticed any new changes and trends in the job yeah. sector in Uganda? Absolutely. Um, COVID, you know, completely changed things. People had to work from home. Uh, people realized that productivity was not dropping, especially yeah. in the corporate world. You know, it actually went higher, right? It became, it became um, people became much more productive. That would be the first thing. Secondly, I think also it's hastened adoption of uh, technology, right? So even mm -hmm. in recruitment, uh, no more process, say, of interviews where they would expect you to do like what we're doing now, come in for physical interviews, now changed. So you can now go and do a, a, an online interview, yep. which is fine. Um, even with uh, assessments and other things, right? We have an assessment product as well that we offer to employers. That before you'd have to do a physical assessment that has changed so things are now th the, the the biggest shift is that things are moving more and more online mm. yeah do you authenticate the information that is provided by job seekers because i could lie mm, that true. i have i've been <laughs> a ceo somewhere yes, yes. you know yeah. how do you make sure that the employer is mm -hmm. getting the right information and of course even the the, the job seeker is getting the right information because there are so many pseudo companies absolutely mm. um for the job seekers, depending on uh, what level of uh, recruitment we're doing for a company, yeah. if it goes up to headhunting or um, executive placements, we do um, background checks and CV and, and CV checks and things like reference checks and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. The lower the product, we can't because of the, the scale at which we're doing it, right? So the onus falls onto the employer, right? Yeah. Simply because of the product. So the less you pay, the less you get sort of thing. Um, on the company side, that's why it becomes a bit tricky. Yeah. Because, uh, you, like you said, you can come with a pseudo company, you get people to apply, then you start charging them for, 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 for t I don't know, whatever it is, start mm -hmm. charging the employees, which is what, something we don't do. So on that side, we do, you have to pr present your certificate of incorporation, you know, your TIN number, and different other metrics that m help us ensure that the company is actually legit, mm. right? Because we're still, the mass of, of our database is with the job seekers and we need to protect their data, yeah. right? Yeah, so with the employer, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit um, tilted towards ensuring that the employers are real, yeah. not fake, and then they don't come to our platform, get a number of people interested and then start charging them. That's mm. what we, we avoid. More. That could be really messy. Yeah, definitely. Have you uh, encountered any other challenges apart from what we've just talked about? Around fraud? Not really, mm. because of <coughs> sorry, because of having airtight um, policies around it, right? We will not deal with the company unless they provide um, that information. Mm -hmm. So we're very intentional and airtight about it because we're holding quite a bit of data. Yeah. At the moment, we have, uh, I think you mentioned 183. That number is probably closer to 200K at the moment. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's so that, imagine that's 200,000 people's data. Yeah. You have to be very careful how you handle it. I'm sure we've seen that uh, NITA and, uh, and uh, we have a Data Protection Act that's out now. All of those are fantastic initiatives to make sure that you're more responsible with the way you handle data, right? Mm -hmm. And people don't come and start using it for the wrong reasons, right? Well. So, yeah, you have to be extremely careful. Quite. Well, if you have just joined us, we are talking about your opportunity to get a job. How efficient is internet as a tool for job hunting? I would say it's quite efficient now because um, uh, traditionally, any large corporate company that's there, oh, aside from even what we do, yeah. any large corporate company no longer does send me an email. They all have job portals, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to have the fundamentals of, of you know, um, knowing how to use the internet. It's extremely essential, right? Mm -hmm. um, coming back to like sort of the SMEs, uh, be, sorry, just large corporate, UN, all of them, all of those job application systems are now online. Mm -hmm. None of them is, is offline anymore, yeah. right? Um, coming down even to the smaller SMEs um, and, and smaller companies, their processes are now also evolving, right? And you can tell from the way we've, we've been able to work with quite a number of companies that are shifting their, 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 their thinking away from, from um, having offline or, or um, physical sort of applications, right? Because mm -hmm. let me put that into perspective for you. If you're looking 
if you're looking to if you're looking to hire someone from a pile of 500 CVs mm. and you're doing it physically, how much time is it going to take you? More. Exactly. Compared to if you have a system mm. or you have a, a, a much faster way for you to sort through that, right? Yeah. And obviously, companies at the end of the day are here to make money. Mm. They don't have that time to waste. Start going through one by one, 500. That's a lot of time, right? So you'll find that on average, I think before, in around 2014, 2015, it was taking us about, even with having a system, because of doing it semi-manually, it was taking us about uh, 21, 21 to 25 days to fill a position. Yeah. Now it's down to five, mm. because technology is also evolving, right? Things I mentioned before around artificial intelligence and machine learning, if I'm able to know Idris has ABC qualifications and this job is looking for ABC, I'm able to use those two things to match you to the job, which completely saves time. Mm. We're literally not doing anything. The computer is doing everything, right? You're yeah. just filling in the, the requirements. However, mm. there has been an issue in the past right. where you find that my qualifications on paper mm. might not necessarily reflect yeah. me yeah. in person. Yeah. And uh, there are so many employers who will tell you that they have had uh, applications come through, they have read, they have said, ah, this person is impressive and this person is not. And when they have maybe a physical interview, you find that, ah, oh, Brian is actually more impressive than what it says on paper. Yep. How do you manage that? Because I can lose out an opportunity because Absolutely. simply my credentials are not... Uh, yeah as far as the AI is saying that you yes. know, maybe I'm compatible to this job. Yeah. How do you manage that? So unfortunately, it's on the job system. <laughs> 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 unfortunately, it's on them to present their profiles well. However, we do have a career advice um, center. I mean, it's what we do. So we have a number of articles that will tell you or try to guide you on how to articulate this, how to say it better, um, how to present yourself and portray yourself in the, in the right way, right? Um, outside that, we're currently doing a, sorry, on the employer side, actually, there's a second question you asked about, you, th on the flip side, when you're underwhelming, right, and mm. it looks like you're good on paper, mm. we've come to realize, I'll give you an example, when most people give reference checks to a company, they don't give their previous employers, right? Yeah. So they will not say, my previous supervisor will be my, of course. my referee, <laughs> right? They'll give you some random person, it will be like from school or yeah. from, right? So. There's something we're doing with a company called Diwala. Diwala does blockchain certificates and the Federation of Uganda Employers, where we're trying to promote um, supervisor, supervisor-based references, right? Mm. So that means if you are my supervisor before, you should know how Me good best. exactly, better than next random person. Yeah. So this is this is sort of initiatives that would <coughs> that would sort of drive this over time, yeah. right, and get it to 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 the point where we're seeing more realistic references in terms of what you can actually do, what have you been able to do before, how good are you, how, good, how, 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 how sure can we be that you're as good as you say you are, right? Mm -hmm. So those are the sort of initiatives we can put together. And even, um, again, with the reference checks, you need to be very careful to make sure that when somebody's presenting referees, they're from supervisors, not from... Mm -hmm. Tom, Dick, and Harry, right? Wow. So yeah, those are, those are sort of uh, ways you can go about it. Well, if you have just joined us, this is Morning at NTV, and my name is Idris Matusegawa, and we are talking about job hunting. <coughs> are you doing it the old-fashioned way, writing letters, sending them by mail? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a new opportunity. There is a new alternative, and Brian from Brighter Monday has just given you some insights. And if you have just missed some of the things that we've talked about, you can still go to our social media platforms, that is YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and follow the conversation. Get to know how can you change your life, how can you get a new job that probably you lost during the last pandemic. There is new opportunity, there is new chances for you to actually make your life much, much, much better. Now, Brian, coming back to you, mm. uh, Brighter Monday yep. released a report mm. about employee satisfaction. Right. What are some of the things that stood out in that report? Um, it, would, it was actually quite insightful, right? Mm -hmm. So the things that stood out were more intrinsic values, the things that people care about yeah. within jobs. And it was mostly around security. It was mostly around salaries, mm. uh, the security of the company. You've just talked about the um, COVID pandemic. You know, a couple of companies shut down or scaled down. 
So we found that people were more inclined or felt safer in um, environments where they felt like the company is not going to be affected, yeah. right? Or and things along those lines. Um, it was also around another shift we're seeing is even on the hiring side, uh, people are very engrossed in company culture now, right? Um, if you're, if you're in, again, in 2021 and you want people to have physical meetings or you want them to be in the office 100%, mm -hmm. Omicron is out there ravaging and you're telling people, you know... People you have to be here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> people are very concerned about their health and those yeah. other factors. And I think that's what COVID did to the world, right? You start thinking about the things that are important and, um, you know, when you start thinking about it, it now it becomes about safety, about how safe am I in this environment, right? Mm. So that's the, the largest thing that came out of that report, in my opinion. Yeah. So employees look out for security, in yep. other words. Yep. All yep. right. Uh, you talked about earlier mm. uh, providing services like career guidance. Yep. Um, are there more services apart from me, you linking me to uh, an employer, career mm. guidance? Are there more services that Brighter Monday is offering to job seekers? Um, no, but in our... Uh, coming strategy and over the next three years we're mm. definitely building out um, we we'll just re re revise our strategy across Africa and that's something we're definitely going to be much more focused on mm -hmm. um, creating creating because before you connect those people to yeah. each other they have to be um, well placed well matched well prepared right mm. we all know the story of um, under education or our education system in Uganda so we're looking at ways to have much larger impact mm. for job seekers um, through training, through um, whatever it is, making them more ready, whether, whether it's CV writing, things along those lines, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I'll, I'll speak to other countries in, 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 in Nigeria, Kenya, and Ghana. We have partnerships with uh, MasterCard, with GIZ, that are doing things like that, right? So in Uganda, we're looking to build um, things along those lines and have a more social impact um, side to things right we have this amazing platform we have you know we we engage with employers we sort of know what employers are looking for from job seekers so we're, we're looking to build that out and see how we can how we can help mm. right how we can get people better prepared how yeah how do we prepare them better for these opportunities right so definitely it's something we're looking to do um over the coming years we earlier on we talked about the issue of uh me not being able to present myself right. the best way and yep. you said career guidance yep. uh, that has been offered at Brighter Monday. Any other advice that you can give to job seekers right. who have been probably making some mistakes here and there? Mm. So first of all, again, I'll, I'll speak back to COVID. We're still in it. Yeah. Uh, there's essential sectors that were formed out of COVID, right? Um, we, uh, essential sectors and essential job functions, mm. things like accounting, things like HR. There are things that will never go away. They'll never, they'll never be True. taken by a machine, mm. whatever happens, right? Yeah. So my advice would be position yourself within those sectors mm. as well as those functions, right? That way, whatever happens, you're fine. Mm. Because if something can shut down the entire world and certain functions and certain sectors are still moving on, yeah. it means it will never shut down. True. Right? True. So that would be my, that's, that's my greatest advice. The second would be, man, learn, learn, learn. Continue learning. You know, learning never stops, right? You can't stop. Um, you can't think you've, you've reached the pinnacle or think you know everything at a point. You need to continuously learn, find out the new trends in what you're doing, mm -hmm. and so on. <coughs> the third is, um, I think the World Economic Forum produces reports it's called The Future of Jobs that go into what sectors and what career paths are going to be um, relevant in... In the next 10, exactly. 20 years. So that would be the next thing, you know. How do you position yourself to not reach 10, 20 years down the road and your, your skills are completely irrelevant, mm -hmm. right? So what skills can you pick up? So again, back to learning. Go back, do some research, figure out the skills that are going to be on demand, start positioning yourself, start studying to get there, right? Because mm. nothing comes easy. It's not yeah. going to come overnight. That's sort of the advice I'd give to job seekers. It's not a short-term game. It's not, it's not a thing of you fix it in one, two months. You have to continuously keep thinking um, for your end goal. And however you get, I know a lot of people's end goal involves money. <laughs> <laughs> and to get money, you have to have a skill, right? It's the end game. Exactly. Yeah. So to get there, you have to have a skill. So yeah. positioning around 
um, around that and around how you progress those skills over time is, is ideally what, what um, people should be thinking about. Brian, as we conclude, uh, it's very important to also be a job creator. Yeah. Although we have so many job seekers. Yeah. Is a brighter man doing anything to make sure that people actually create jobs? Here, no. However, again, I, I think I'll speak to partnerships. Yeah. What we do ideally, because we won't stay, <coughs> won't stay at the matching um, stage of things. That's what we're good at. Creating is a whole different thing. Mm. But um, we're continuously um, uh, getting into partnerships with people who speak more towards creation, right? maybe looking out for projects and basically I would, I would say we do it from a partnership angle as opposed to being actively involved in, in, in creating jobs, right? Mm. That's not our mandate. Our mandate is purely how do we help people to find jobs and how do we help companies to, to um, place the right people. Going into creation is a whole. It's a. It's a whole. It's a whole other. It's, it's whole for the government. Story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, uh, so being that Brighter Monday is an online company, yeah. Do you have physical uh, yes, offices? Uh, should a job seeker necessarily have to come to you? They can call in um, if they need to come in. Um, we have a fantastic customer care team. They'll be able to. Um, advise them if, if need be for them to come in. Mm. I think last year at the end we did, um, we did a couple of, uh, after the customer service week, which was sometime in November, we've been doing a number of job seeker related uh, promotions, um, giveaways and things like that to just m make sure they're continuously engaged, right? Mm. Um, so yeah, them coming to us depends on the need, right? And the best way to do it is to go through the platform Mm. And if not, uh, reach out to the contact numbers there, and then you know we can assess whether that's necessary. Yeah. yeah. When you say platform, that is a website. Yes, or the website. <laughs> the, you know, they're, they're, they're together. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 where it's like okay, the website is is on top of the platform, but it's it's they're so together. Yeah. Because you you know you log in, so sometimes I mix up the two. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> Everything the is same. interconnected. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So um, any other contact information that probably we might need? Because I know for sure yeah. there are so many people watching right now, right. and they have been looking for a job for as long as yeah. they can remember. Yeah. And sometimes uh, there is some unfairness that goes on in yeah. companies, and and because of Bright and Mandy, there is. Clarity that mm -hmm. is given that you know what brand is the person suited for this job, right. no matter where you come from, no yeah. matter what your color is. So, what more information do people need to have to actually u utilize Brighter right. Mandy to its fullest? So, I would say they need to visit the website yeah. www.brightermonday.co.ug. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's very clear what you need to do. It will show you how to sign up. Or where the icon, it's it's very well laid out. I should show you, um, and go through the prompts, fill out uh, your profile. You have to fill it out to a hundred percent, and then um, after that, uh, we talked about the job alerts before. Yeah. Sign up for job alerts within your particular field, mm -hmm. um, and after that, that, they start coming to you, and the opportunities start coming to you. On average, we we're doing about we have about a hundred jobs that are coming in from companies, but we also post. Uh, jobs from the UN and parastatos and other uh, organizations that we ordinarily wouldn't get to be mm -hmm. our clients, right? So we have about 300 jobs at oh, least wow. monthly. So is that only in Uganda or That's only international? In Uganda. Okay. Right. So uh, you talked about the fields. Um, what if I'm an artist and I'm looking uh. for a job? <laughs> <laughs> is there a limit? Uh, no. In there's the fields? No, there's, there's quite a number. Yeah. They're quite a number. They're quite a number. The reason the fields just help to narrow down the newsletter, so it's, it's specific to uh, the more generic fields. Let's say not not <laughs> not artists, um, well. <laughs> but still. Remember, I mentioned on the Mondays you still receive um, an email that has a, a, a bigger rundown of the opportunities that are out there, mm. right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, every, like I said, it's it's pretty self-explanatory and and, mm. and and easy to use, right? Yeah. And more importantly, those people who, who don't like writing CVs, yeah. after you fill out that profile, it becomes your digital yeah. CV. You can just download it. Download it and, and then use it. Exactly. Use it in other opportunities. Yep. Yep. And if I'm looking for a job outside Uganda, um, can I get it from Brighter Monday? Well, so now you'd have to go to our... So, so I forgot to mention that... Uh, I think I mentioned we're in a number of, of countries. I just didn't mention how. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we operate under the same brand name in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to go to brightamadi.co.ke in that, in, that, in that case. Mm. And then in West Africa, we operate under the brand name of Jobberman. Mm -hmm. So you'd go to jobberman.com or jobberman.com.gh, which would be Ghana and the other one's Nigeria. Mm. Uh, so each and every individual um, company runs on its own and runs within its own territory. We ah. don't put all those jobs in one all particular right. place. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, Brian, for coming Cheers. through. Cheers. Absolute well, pleasure. That's it that we had about uh, you getting a chance to job hand online. It's efficient, it's easy. Why don't you do it right now? Let's take a short break. We shall be right back with more on Morning at NTV. You're watching Morning at NTV.